Hi, I'm Chris Johnston from Work Visa Lawyers and welcome to our Australian immigration videos. We are one of Australia's largest immigration law firms with a team of professional immigration lawyers and registered migration agents who can help. If you would like us to help you, please hit subscribe and the bell to get notified of our new videos. In today's video, we'll be talking about whether you should choose a global talent visa or an employer-sponsored visa. Employer-sponsored visas are one of the better options for Australian businesses to fill Australia's skills shortages or labour shortages. The options include the TSS 482 Temporary Work Visa, the Skilled Employer Regional Sponsored 494 Visa, and the Employer Nomination Scheme 186 Visa. Australia can be a rewarding destination for people to travel to and work on an employer-sponsored visa. You can start with finding a job here and then ask your employer for sponsorship. However, if you meet the criteria for the Global Talent Visa, then that can be an even more attractive option. This is because the career flexibility, skills assessment, age and language requirements can be more flexible with the Global Talent Visa. Even employers themselves love the Global Talent Visa because it's faster and it does not cost the employer anything. The Global Talent Visa is not an employer-sponsored visa. There is no specific occupation list for the Global Talent Visa like there is for an employer-sponsored visa. What you do need to do is to be working in one of the targeted sectors. As the Global Talent Visa holder, you are free to change jobs or roles to set up your own business or to be self-employed. There is no skills assessment requirement for the Global Talent Visa. To be eligible for a Global Talent Visa, you must be internationally recognised with an evidence of an outstanding achievements within your field. Because the Global Talent Visa is open to aim for real talents who could be an asset to Australia, there is more flexibility. The English language requirements for the Global Talent Visa are functional English. This means an overall band score of 4.5 based on the IELTS test. If you or your secondary applicant cannot meet the English language requirement, you must pay a second visa application charge before the visa can be granted. This English language requirement is very low compared to most other skilled visas. The Global Talent Visa is fast-tracked pathway to permanent residency, with visas granted anywhere from two to six months. Please note that it might take longer than this to get an invitation at the expression of interest stage. The current processing time for the ENS could be six months to 12 months. While the Global Talent Visa may involve a job offer from an Australian employer, there is no obligation for them to pay a Skilling Australia Fund or a SAF fee. This is one of the reasons that Australian employers love the Global Talent Visa. In many cases, the requirement for a Global Talent Visa will be too high to reach for either the employer or the applicant. Specifically, the salary requirement of being above the fair work high income threshold is very demanding. The current fair work high income threshold is 158,500. This is a very high salary. The Global Talent Visa is also focused on a number of sectors and even within those sectors, upon the high tech or new innovative areas in those sectors, such as the renewable energy part of the energy sector. Many employer-sponsored opportunities may be in occupations or industries outside of these sectors and not available for the Global Talent Visa. For example, a general practitioner working in a general medical practice would not fall within a Global Talent Sector. There are also many trade-level jobs which are available for employer sponsorship, including electricians, carpenters and diesel mechanics. Jobs within hospitality, such as chef and restaurant manager, are commonly sponsored by employers. None of these trade or restaurant manager jobs would be available through the Global Talent Visa. There are also many people who put in an expression of interest for a Global Talent Visa that are finding that the expression of interest is not being considered in a timely manner. The expression of interests are sometimes taking 12 months or more. In such cases, an employer-sponsored 482 could be quicker to get someone into Australia and working than a Global Talent Visa. That's all for today. Thank you for watching our video about the advantages of Global Talent Visas and employer sponsorship visas. We hope this video has been helpful for you. 
Don't forget to like it, subscribe and hit the bell to get notified of any new videos. Thank you and see you soon.